104, Sir Robin Buchanan, chairman of the Wessex Regional Health Authority, which lost £43 million on a new computer system in 1992. He is still chairman of the Wessex Regional <laughs> Health Authority. <laughs> John Burt, you've made a number of changes since becoming Director General of the BBC, notably the most recent, when you finally joined Payroll. <laughs> uh, yes, I think we've eliminated that problem. You also appear to have eliminated a leg. Uh, yes, that's right, Emma. Uh, we've just completed a major piece of market research which established I only use my right leg 28% of the time, and as such it represented an unacceptable waste of resources. Is it not a touch drastic to remove an entire limb? Yes, but we can't stand still. <laughs> well, I can't, obviously. Um, but we offered the foot a more than generous redundancy settlement. Yes, um, I wanted to talk to you about this. There is a rumour that you're proposing to axe more of your body. <laughs> well, uh, not axe, more pair resources, Emma. Uh, no, I had a management team look at the whole area of my arms without obviously straying past the elbow. That's a different department. And the pilot study came up with some alarming figures. Uh, did you know this arm, for example, works over three times more than the other one, which just dangles there doing nothing? So, it goes freelance. <laughs> That's what market forces are all about. Strip everything down to the basics, down to the core business. How do you think the licence pair is likely to regard your response to government proposals? Well, I think they'll say, look at that John Burt over there. At least he's got balls. <laughs> but nothing else. <laughs> well, the thing is, Emma, at the end of the day, we've made massive savings, and all it's cost us is an arm and a leg. <laughs>